Okay, I'm back and my gessoed envelope is dry. So now comes the interesting part. Part of the challenge is to use a color that you don't normally use. And for me, that was easy. That would be orange. Rarely do I use orange. Um, but I also thought, well, let's pull out something else that I don't use, and that is my gelatos. So we're going to try this. It may be a fail. I've never worked well with gelatos. Or they've never worked well with me. I'm not sure what the case is. But we're going to give it a try. So I'm just going to put some color down. And we'll see where we go with it. So I'm using tangerine and guava and metallic melon. I think I'll actually... This is the metallic melon. And I know that the, the metallic melon and the guava are sort of a pinkish orange, but I think they'll do okay together. I honestly have no idea how this is going to do. Like I said, I've never, I, I don't know why, but gelatos and I just, we've never gotten along very well. Okay, I've got my brush and some water, dab that off, and I'm going to go through, and I'm actually going to start with wetting the guava down because it's the lightest of the colors. Okay, then I'm going to move on to the Metallic melon. Now, one thing I, I should say is uh, a lot of this envelope is going to be cut away. So the uh, 
the fact that I'm covering the whole thing really is not necessary. I just thought for me it would be easier to cover the whole thing and then cut away the parts that I don't need. Okay, now I'll go back and get the orange flowing. Orange, if I let it, is pretty well going to take over everything. Now, at this point, I don't really mind if stuff mixes. Okay. Don't want though. Got white there. All right. So now, and I may have to let this dry and then do. Another layer, like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing with these. Absolutely hate it so far. Do you think I want to? some more of this metallic melon back in. Throw some more guava in. that orange. Not getting rid of the orange, but blending it out a little more. And I actually think it's going to be okay. All right. 
I'm actually going to just let that be and let it dry. I'm afraid I'm starting to pick some color up and I don't want to get too carried away with myself. But, so I'm going to let that dry. That was pretty quick. I'm going to let that dry and then uh, I'll be back and we'll see what what else we want to do to Okay, it. I'm back and my envelope that I put my orange gelato on is all dry. So I think what Pam did next was actually cut out her envelope. But I'm I'm thinking I'm not going to do that yet. I think for me it's a little easier to work on where I've got a bigger base. So I'm going to continue for a few more steps just doing that. And what I'm I've got some uh music here, so I'm just going to do some background stamping. Thought for a second it was upside down, which wouldn't have been a big deal. Because I could just turn the envelope over. But I just want to have some more texture. Okay. I say okay, and then I keep going. All right. And then I've cut out these two birds that I thought would go well with the orange. Cut them out of... Let's see. That one is going... If I put it up higher, it's going to... Maybe I should go that way. Trying to look at where am I. Envelope is going to be cut. But I really want... Yeah, I think I'm going to do it like that. Okay. But, because I used gelato, which is, will reactivate with water, my brush is pretty dry, and I'm actually going to use a little matte gel medium to put my napkin down. And... Try to keep from reactivating as much of the gelato as I can. The matte gel medium being a little thicker and less watery. This one, I want. I don't want them to be 
at the same level because that would just be a little bit boring. So we're going to put that one about there, and I'll just have to cut off his tail feathers. All right, so what I'm going to do is, this should just take a couple of minutes to dry. I'm going to pause the video, let that dry, and then we'll come back and finish this up real quick. Okay, I'm back, and my gel medium that I put down the napkins with is dry. And I took a pencil and very lightly went around the edges where I'll be cutting, just so I could see where I needed to be cutting. So now I'm ready to cut out, and I'm using pinking shears. You can use decorative scissors, use whatever you want. I know pinking shears are supposed to be my fabric scissors. I don't use them that much for fabric. And quite frankly, right now, I only know where one pair of my decorative scissors is. And that's my postage stamp scissors, and I didn't figure that would do well for this. Kind of curve that if I can. All right, now we're going to cut out this side. Okay, so there I have my butterfly belly band. And as you can see, you've got that opening there. And I'm not wild about that. I think over time, and especially if I'm if I put this down as a belly band, Yeah, I think I'd just rather have that closed. So I'm going to take some glue. And go along the edges. I apologize, it's probably going to be out of camera range for just a second. At the bottom. Up. 
take my vintage photo and go around all my edges. I'm actually okay with the way this is coming together, uh, especially for me. I, I avoid orange at most, yeah, I just, I, I never use orange, so... So while this may not be great, I'm I'm actually relatively pleased with the way it's coming out. Now our birdies have some yellow in them. So the other the last thing we want to do to kind of help strengthen that center piece is sort of like when you put ribbon along your spine. Pecan shears. We're going to put a little ribbon around that. Okay, I can't believe I'm going to do this, but I'm going to take. vintage photo just age up this ribbon a hair shade especially on the edges Okay, now, I'm going to clip that far. I'm going to take my Fabri-Tac. A small bead down the back. to the front. Put a small bead down. Run my ribbon down and wrap it around to the back. Actually need to cut that off a little bit. Come on, glue.
me see if I've got some perfect pearls. I don't see the color on these, but I think they will do fine. I haven't used these in a long time, so I'm going to assume that it's going to need a pin in it. All right, and there it is. That is my butterfly belly band. So thank you to Pam at the Paper Outpost for putting out this little weekly challenge. I really like that. I think that'll be great. Just glue it down on a piece of paper on both sides, and then you've got the belly band to slide behind. So I think that is... Wonderful, and I'm actually okay with the way it came out. Uh, being orange and everything. So, anyway, that's it. Take care of yourself. Stay healthy. Happy crafting, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.